just put a new battery in and basically I'm just overwhelmed. Carl and I have still been doing our normal nine to fives. I've been doing more brand work. We are helping out some family friends and that means we're commuting a lot. And so things have just been so crazy. So I ended up having today off. So I sat down to fully write out our itinerary and write down everything, all of our confirmation numbers from all the things that we booked, just to have it all in one place. That's a little more organized than what I had before and I cannot find two flights and so I started freaking out I'm still freaking out I'm panicking but Kyle doesn't get home till later and it's something that I need to kind of confer with him see if he used a different email or a different card but I'm freaking out about that this morning I spent an hour and a half maybe trying to get my vaccine card changed to my maiden name because I originally got it to match my driver's license for going to restaurants and stuff and now I need it to match my passport because the only things I still have in my maiden name are like my passport and health insurance and I was really close I had some pharmacies whatnot sign off on it and this last one won't do it she says it's impossible because the little sticker that they put on apparently that's gone they don't have it they can't print a new one and I'm so confused because it's got to be in the system somewhere especially because to get it, all the paperwork I filled out with my maiden name to match the insurance. So she told me like, oh, just bring your passport with your maiden name. I drove all the way home, I drove back, and all she did was take a pen and just hyphenate with my maiden name. And I could have done that. <laughs> so I'm really frustrated about that and a couple other things today. So I've been trying to keep myself busy. I also have so much footage that I haven't been able to get to yet and I think I'm just gonna have to scrap it because we really need to clear out our drives and all our memory cards so we can you know start this month trip on a clean slate and so I think I'm just gonna have to scrap some footage which I don't like doing but it has to happen also Kyle is helping to put together plan a baptism for tomorrow night and so it's hard when it's on like a Tuesday night so I'm now making some refreshments and giving a little talk so I have to now take care of that I bought some stuff the day before Easter as like Easter gifts for Kyle and I and one of the things I got came without a cord so I had to go back today and take care of that because you know we're leaving soon and everything gives you like 30 days so I've got to get all that such done 30 days so I'm just completely overwhelmed right now and that's what I'm getting at so here's what's going down in the next few weeks this is the goal for us there might be some more unboxings because we are getting so many packages I'm at the point where I'm starting to get some um, some packages from brands which is so cool but it's a little overwhelming and especially because we're also purchasing stuff right now for our trip, especially for when we're gonna be in the Amazon. We need non-cotton, non-linen clothing, and most of my clothes, at least, are like cotton and linen. You don't want that, so buying some stuff for that. <sighs> and so we just have packages coming all the time. I've got a couple right here that I need to take care of. So what I'm saying is, in the next few weeks, hopefully there will be videos coming out. Hopefully we'll be able to show you a lot of what we got specifically for the trip, what we're packing for the trip. We are trying to do this with just carry-ons and personal item bags right now. That's the goal. And now I'm a little worried because I have some, some knee solo shoes to take. And originally I was planning on having like one pair of shoes and then like a slipper slip on shoe and so now I've got to figure that out and now we also have to carry our marriage license around and so figuring out you know folder probably a ziploc bag as well just with humidity and everything so there's there's just so many moving parts right now which is very fun but I just today am so overwhelmed and everything is not working out for me <laughs> and there's just so much to still prep while working but it's gonna be okay 
and it's gonna be fun. So, I uh, also want to encourage you to follow me on Instagram. I will insert my handle on the screen. I will definitely have a link down in the description as well as some other links. I recently have gotten a lot more discount codes, which is fun, as well as links to some of our favorite things on Amazon, like our camera equipment, our travel things, etc. So, be sure to check that out and to follow me on Instagram to get more, more on our trips and things going on there. So I am now going to try to calm down, unbox some things, and make some refreshments for tomorrow and dinner. And anxiously wait for Kyle to come home so we can figure out if I'm crazy or if we need to rebook some plane tickets. Which is just... Like, it's really way too late in the game to not be able to find things like this. And so, I'm freaking out. In other news, I recently painted our piano. It's like this kind of jewel-toned dark green. And then there's, I did gold leaves and vines that I painted on. And then I redid our fireplace as well. It is a vinyl wallpaper that I have put over the black fireplace. And then this is just a plank of wood that we got that they were scrapping at Home Depot. So it's been really busy around here. Okay, it is about 12 days until we leave for Peru and pretty much all our stuff is here at this point. So I'm just gonna take you through it. So we're gonna be in the Amazon for a very long time and they have told us don't bring cotton or linen, you'll be miserable because of humidity. And for me, most of my clothes are cotton or linen and the stuff that I don't have that's um, a synthetic fabric is gonna be yoga pants, which mosquitoes can bite through. So I had to get some pants that will work for the Amazon. Kyle just needs more clothes in general. And we just honestly didn't get on this soon enough. So we purchased from Amazon. And so I'll link everything below. My pants, I thought these were Kyle's. So just kind of some cargo pants that will dry quickly. That's the big thing is just getting stuff quick drying. And we'll also be bringing Ziploc bags to separate our wet clothes and our dry clothes. So. So Kyle got a mission hat. I'm pretty much good with a baseball cap. I love my old community college hat, but Kyle got a mission hat and I think this will be really good because it covers his neck and he gets sunburned so easily. And then it also is supposed to help keep you cool, which is good. These are Kyle's pants. He got some too. Blue, black, tan, because we want them in neutral colors. I got another pair of pants. These I've tried on. So I think we each got three pairs of pants and I think we each already had like one or two pairs. We got a new micro SD card. This is 128 gigabytes. And this will be put in our new camera, which is a GoPro Hero 10. And we're excited to have this because we run out of storage pretty quickly. And I think I mentioned before that I need to go through and kind of wipe everything. This is something that I have wanted for a long time and Peru was a good excuse to get them. So this is a travel case and it holds your toothbrush toothpaste and some other things. So I'm gonna open it up and show you. They come in a pack of two and I'm so excited to have these. <laughs> so they actually come with little labels, but we probably won't use them. So that's how big it is. It's a twist on the top and then you've got this cavity here that goes all the way to the bottom that you can put your toothbrush, toothpaste in, whatever you'd like. And then this cavity has these two bottles you can kind of see the shape they fit in that crescent cavity and they're all TSA sized and then the bottom it has this little magnet cavity which has this little tiny guy so I'm super excited to have these and I think it'll be so nice to have it all in the same place I actually also like to brush my teeth in the shower a lot of the time you can have like your shampoo conditioner body wash toothbrush or I'll actually probably put like a face oil in this little one and I'm just super excited to have these. When Kyle and I travel, we're normally just doing it in the van, and so we're used to sharing a tote bag or a suitcase or just like a little bag, and so all our toiletries are together, so it'll be nice to each have our own, and I just love this concept, and I had been looking for a while to find an affordable style of something like this, so. I will definitely link this below because I think it's magnificent. Kyle got some new socks. I don't know if these are for him or for me, but we've got new socks. Um, we got a six pack of permethrin, which, or maybe it's permethrin, 
but this is suggested if you're going to the Amazon to maybe soak your clothes in this. It's um, it'll repel bugs and stuff. So we also got some travel size DEET. And then this is something I've also wanted for a while. I just think it'd be great for traveling. It's a bed bug spray. And so it's kind of just like an essential oil spray with a couple other things, but it's, so it's natural, it's just a spray. And I think this is great if you travel a lot because if you, you know, get late flight in, you go to a hotel and you don't wanna have to like really check for bed bugs. More pants, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to figure out whose pants are whose. I didn't even think of that. And then we got this new fancy tripod. I guess it's not super fancy, but we are not bringing our drone. And so we still wanna be able to get some nice shots that are a little more aerial and, with, and then just with some of the things that we're doing, so. So far we've got our phone clip and what's really great about this is it's got an attachment here and here so you can have vertical or portrait like that so far. And also a lot of these things are also like selfie sticks so that's kind of fun. We don't really use it for that. This looks exactly like a different one we have. Hmm. I guess it's the top part that I need. We already have a tripod that's very much like this. So that, so far, I'm not thrilled about. But we've got this base here, a tripod base. You twist, and it goes up. And then you can attach this down here, which gives you just a little bit more. So this top piece has a screw so you can extend it with this tripod piece. So that's what I really needed, that and a good sort of adapter situation. So and then we've got our other screw there and it already is fitted with a adapter that we can use for the GoPro. So not the best tripod ever, but it'll definitely work for us. And most of the time we can get by easily with that. I will say it is pretty compact, which is good. And it's not as heavy as our other stuff, but still like a medium medium sort of heft to it and that'll be good because we are going to be putting everything in the backpack so so we are tired it's been really great today easter sunday was so beautiful it was like the perfect afternoon and then since we've had like rainstorms and windstorms so today is absolutely great i'm probably looking so washed out because of the lighting in here but that is some of the stuff we got for peru we will be sharing more of what we got and hopefully a packing video as well which should be good and hopefully post our trip we'll share more of like what we should have brought what we didn't need to bring because i do think it's helpful especially with us traveling to the amazon and being there so long a lot of people go to the amazon for just a couple days and we're gonna be there a full week and we're gonna go camping and so that's been the big thing that we're trying to maneuver around is getting to the amazon with carry-on suitcases and not spending a fortune to do that stay tuned <laughs>